Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop video where we will learn how I created this cool environment digital artwork using Adobe Photoshop. Make sure you wear headphones. Call it matte painting, call it concept art or call it photo manipulation or photo montage. We will be creating right this. But right before we start, thank you for 300 subscribers. Wow. Thanks for support and once you watch this video, consider watching other videos if you haven't yet. So let's talk about this artwork. I created this artwork for environment challenge held a few months back by Poncho. He's an amazing concept artist, matte painter, photo manipulation artist and most importantly these days a digital painter. I never did an environment artwork before and I guess right after doing this piece, I started loving two things. One, environmental artworks. I do them now time to time, occasionally, and second, horizontal artworks. Oftentimes you need to say fuck vertical. Anyways, I'm also planning to drop this artwork as a, yes, you guessed it right, NFT. We'll talk more about this, let's start with the tutorial. So guys, I have found this amazing stock image, link in description if you want to download. And honestly, I love this shot in this area. Reason why I choose this image because there was good balanced lighting, nice angle of the shot that is perspective and obviously the scene. So sky at this point is not something that I personally like in this photograph and we are going to start selecting the buildings so we have no sky and then we can add our own sky. I hope you understand this. <laughs> Anyways, for selection um, you can use whatever method that you like. Over here I will be using quick selection tool. Um, you can use pen tool if you like. In previous tutorials, I have used pen tool, but I guess here quick selection is much easier, isn't it? Anyways, once I have selection with the maximum things, I can um, add a layer mask and then simply I will clean the edges with the brush tool by erasing unwanted tools. Um, not tools actually, unwanted areas, sorry. <laughs> Take your time in this, do not rush because selection is important. Now obviously we know what's next, adding sky. Unfortunately, I cannot give you the sky I'm using in this artwork because I'm not allowed, it's from a paid resource. But hey, finding sky images is not hard at all. Go to pixels or unsplash.com, you will find something over there for sure. Try searching for blue sky or night sky or something like this. If you're nice at drawing, maybe you can draw on your own. I am particularly bad at drawing. Anyways, make sure sky is below buildings, I mean sky layer obviously, um, because buildings will come over at the sky, right? Yes. Now the serious part, blending the sky in the building. It is very easy to be honest, just need some patience and adjustment layers. I will add a brightness slash contrast adjustment layer and clip mask it to the building. I will go to the negative 150 with the brightness slider. Then you will add a color balance layer, again clip mask it, play with sliders of adding cyan and blues, obviously as the sky is blue, we are adding the blue color. After it, we are going to reduce some more light from the building. This time add a hue saturation adjustment layer, again clip mask it, but play with the light part and reduce a bit. I keep it around minus 20 or 22. This is not required, but just for my sake, I added curves and clip mask it too, but very little I pull it down. You will still notice that overall it doesn't match. Well, the final king of the game, add an overall photo filter adjustment layer of little bright blue color and play with its density. Do not clip mask it, I repeat. Now please remember, whatever elements we are going to add will be placed below the layer of this photo adjustment. So we already have hand over the freaking colors. Now it's just a bunch of experimentation with elements and details. Let's go. Ah, 
Alright, now it's time to add a few elements. I will add an abandoned bus image on left corner and using transform tool, I will resize it. Oh by the way, did I told you that this bus png file and a car png file which we are using in this video are from pixel squid. I will link them in description so if you want to download, you can. I have already made a little short segment about pixel squid in the top 6 photoshop plugin video. Anyways, after adding the bus, to blend it, I will use adjustment layers again. First of all, a color balance layer. I will add some blues and some suns, to be honest mainly suns. Then using brightness and contrast adjustment layer, I will reduce both things that is the brightness and the contrast. Finally, I will add a HSL layer and I will add some blue color hues to give it the color matching feel with the environment and I will also reduce some lights. We are done almost just I started painting some little shadows over the bus of blue color from the environment. Right in the same way as of the bus, I will be adding an abandoned car from Pixel Squid. I will be using adjustment layers again to blend it up. However, if you do not have a Pixel Squid subscription, you can always look for free resources. Keep searching. Oh, by the way, till the time I'm trying to blend this car, do you know about NFTs? Well, I dropped 3 NFTs if you're watching this video early. I currently upload on foundation. If you like any of my pieces that you would like to collect, consider checking the link in description. Anyways, let's move. Moving forward, to add some details, I added a moon overlay in middle of the sky to have a noticeable thing in the middle. A cloud ahead for it, just for fun, you know. And then I'll paint some glows using the brush tool in the screen blend mode. The whole scene was going blue and as we know that blue and orange go good hand in hand. So I added a yellow fire image from internet, I mean free stocks. And then using the hue saturation layer, I made it orange. I placed it around the bus on the left corner. You know what's next? adding glow to the fire. You can either sample oranges and then paint above the fire layer, although I will use a plugin called Oniric. If you want the overview of the plugin, check out my top 6 plugin video after this one. Now it's the final thing, that is time for the camera raw filter. I merge all of the layers and then convert them to smart object and then I start playing with the sliders. I add some contrast and also some mid contrast using clarity feature. Little experiment with the curves but it is not required. I also added some highlights using the split toning for blue tones. And then I added little smoke in overall but that's just bunch of experimentation. I recommend you to play with it as well. You can surely discover what you like. Let's move to overview of this artwork. Hold up girl, let me think what you thinking about. Listen to your favorite songs I'm singing aloud. You wonder it now, biting that lip, checking me out, shaking that hip. You wanna go out. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Thanks for watching and if you make anything after being inspired by this video, send me a copy on my Instagram or Twitter at shagun underscore damaria, you'll find link in the description. If you have any questions with this artwork, please ask them in comments or if you have any business inquiries, drop me a message on Instagram or email. With positive spirit, let's end the video, consider subscribing with notifications on and also let me know in comments did you enjoyed the video or no. Thank you. Up your heart, two-faced, beat, beat, you're part of a thing, but you're putting more pay amount.